for the Hollywood sweeper. He's going to go big. He's over the line! Coming in hot. They are not taking a break. Oh, they are... For Mache, so it's relatively light. Can they control it? We're going to find out. They st certainly started. Oh, it's gone! It's gone to the left exactly as I said it might. Wow! And the island is navigated, and they're getting slightly bad here. Are they? Oh, look at that! Well, it all went wrong over the bone rattler, and it certainly rattled a few bones, didn't it? Look at that. The front wheels start to wobble down. It goes on the front right. They can't hold it. And they slide down. Everybody's OK, but it's not the finish that Toot and Scar were looking for. One of the most spectacular offs that we've had that on the way down. He's a braver man than I am, that's for sure. Look at the concentration on the face of the pilot. That's Danny, who's a solicitor, and they're wobbling all over the place. This is where it gets shaken about, and we find out whether it's strong enough. There we are! Not quite, not quite. He's still keeping it going, Ivan. Here's the bone rattler, this should finish that. Oh, oh, look at that! Catapults it through. Almost a 360 in the air. The, he thinks he's OK. There's a shock on the cards, my friend. Oh, look at that from the onboard. There's another shot of the back end completely flipping round. Lee did really well to stay in because he's the co-pilot at the back. But that's it for Rocket to Mars. Problem. I just wonder whether that chimney means you can see quite as well as you'd need to see. Oh, nose diving over. Hey, round the corner, here's the kicker. Oh, over they go. I thought they might just flip it there, but they did so well. 38, 44. And then Ronnie goes flying. But you've got to make it pay. Got to get it quick. Heading down towards the kicker, you've got to be right. Here's the kicker. Oh, he went too fast and he's landed on the back and he's split into many, many pieces. He's on the tarmac. I think they've just about got the soapbox to the finish, but there's not a great... Here they go towards the water. Over the water. Oh, spun it! Look at that! They've lost most of... This is fast. The kicker! Over they go! The finish! 37-36! Oh, look at that! Yeah, he's all right through there. I have no idea how he's managing to steer. Somebody else is steering it at the back, look. I think that's Martin underneath. I didn't say, oh, he's gone! He's gone! I'm oh, going to be there for all of us to see. And it absolutely glides through the water feature. Just starting to lose a little bit of control there. Oh, takes out part of the wedge during the next 420 metres. There's the first slice of bread, no problem there. And over the piston. So the big steel toaster about to go over the steel works, and it's wobbling all over the place, and it won't get there. So Arkham next is next with a performance score of 33 and they've rolled it before the bottom of the ramp. They've travelled about 20 yards and there's not much left of it. It took a long time to build. It didn't take too long to break into pieces. Maintain that pose on the top all the way down. Here's the first test. The answer. Oh, look at that. Oh. So 36 for performance. That's good. And you get two for the price of one with this team. Apollo 50 has already separated. I don't know whether Dave at the front realises this. And we're going to miss the water with the second part, so Johnny's taking the wide route, Dave's going for broke. And there we go. <laughs> and I'm surprised, really, that the rubber ring at the back is not affecting the steering of the front part of the soapbox, and they absolutely fly the sizzler. And they've made this look easy on the way down, wipe out. They didn't wipe out. They're over the finish line in 46.59. And then they do wipe out. And Steve comes out of the rubber ring. Apples and pears, and it's side to side through there. Over the apples and pears. Bounce, bounce, bounce. The wheels come off. Skidding down the track. Now it's got to get through the chicane. It's actually got to reach the chicane. Through the chicane we go. Fantastic driving here to actually keep it upright. Down we go towards the kicker. Over the kicker. Oh, it's flipped it over the kicker. Got so far down with just three wheels and then lands on the roof. <laughs> Cheering them all. Down we go. It's a royal procession up to now. Off goes the smoke. Oh, just hang on the back there. Lizzie, be steady. Oh, with the finish.
Over the finish and over. Very, very high. I feel for them here. So let's have a look at this first obstacle. Over we go, the water. Oh, he's gone! He's gone! 36 before that for creativity, and one of the legs has gone already. This looks flimsy, doesn't it? The wheels, the, oh, look at this. <laughs> it's just collapsed at the back, look, it's absolutely gone. What's the factory gonna do to this one? Grits and giggles, over it goes, it lands, it twitched, it's okay. It's over the finish line, and there's the straw bells to stop it that we've seen so often. From Lancashire County Council, and here they come to the water. Oh, it started to break, oh, I think it's gone, it has gone. Well, it started to bounce through the water feature. Kicker, can Queen Liz survive the kicker? There's a bit of speed going into it. Everybody holds their breath at Ali Pali. Over we go! Oh, she's made it! My word, she's made it! Oh, he's losing it towards the end and he can't go as he got there just about. In on the tarmac, two wheels are piloting Thunderbird 2 down. Over the kicker, can they get there? It's scrubbed off all the speed, but they've managed to do it. It's amazing oh, to the straw at the end. It's amazing that they've here for the driver. The lower soap boxes today have had slightly better fortune coming down this particular circuit. Now, plenty of speed though, just the one wheel at the front and it started to go and he won't stop it from there. With all the weight of the still going towards the bone rattler, which could be a oh, he's got again. Look at it now. There's hardly anything left of it. Well, he's going to carry on as best he can. He's a trooper of nothing. Oh, it's gone all together now, surely. Although it says 29 miles an hour, but it doesn't seem to be going that fast through the speed check. But it is, and it's still going, and he's still on there. Buzz, he nearly went then. Keep hanging on, my friend, and under the arch. And Oh, look at the finish! He hung on all the way down and then went to Perler over the finish. Really good run, big smile on the face of the camera. There's the kicker, really spectacular, over the finish line. 35.3 and into the straw. Two competitors in this particular car. The wedge, no problem. Oh, straight into the hay bales and out. Lost control, came over the wedge, lost control, almost into the crowd. Now they've got to pick themselves up and try and get started again because, because look at the damage. Here we go, over the kicker. Oh, it explodes as it lands, but they get over the finish line. And that was a brave, brave run by two peas in a cod. Protection as they move towards Steelworks, but every time it gets quick, it starts to wobble at the front. Oh, they've lost it altogether. But it's the kind of day where you do everything you can to finish. Let's not let a spill like that stop you. And they're going to get a big cheer as they make their way down towards the finish. It looks actually better since they got rid of uh, all of the bodywork which came off. You can see the design there over the factory. Oh, he's going to go again! That's even worse than before! <laughs> Pretty quick, doesn't it, with the BA Baracus Mohican, obviously for the 18, but now it becomes the DeLorean from Back to the Future. And it's flying down the circuit too, around the island it goes. Richie at the front, Christian at the back. It looks a good ride, this, over the bone rattler. Didn't rattle anybody's bones that because it flew over there. All they've got to go is the factory. And it's absolutely flying down the circuit. This looks as quick as anything we've seen today. Safely over there, never moved a muscle. And easily over the finish line. It was quick, it was effective. And we saw three vehicles in one. Okay, now what kind of time can they post? Oh, look at that for air! Over the finish line, oh! Smashes into the bales! So much speed! The Grand Slammer, 27 miles an hour, still going strong. Marcus doing a good job over the Sizzler. This looks quite quick. It's really fast at the finish. What's his time going to be like? Let's have a look. It's in the 30s. Oh, 39.64. And then no. The ball still snorting, and this thing flying down the circuit. Didn't go over the handlebars. Really good run. Can he stop it? Oh! -ho! Looks like a Lego soapbox. Whether it's going to be as sleek and as quick as the Batmobile on the way down remains to be seen. Batman behind the wheel gets a push off from Robin the Joker and Penguin. And not the best of starts, certainly not the best. Oh, the wheels have gone already. Oh dear. They didn't really make it past the piston, did they? And the wheels, the front wheels, just completely went all that hard work. And you can see the disappointment on Batman's face. He'll put a brave face on it. I had so many high hopes for this one. It just wasn't to be today.